Hey, Steve Bignani here with part two of the Plastic Slant 6 story. In part one, we quickly showed the uh, Revell quarter scale Plastic Slant 6 model. A very detailed item, you know, beautiful thing with uh, working pistons, connecting rods, rocker arms, all that stuff. Really detailed. This is an assembled model, which I found online. Somebody built that a long, long time ago. And here's the base for it, the little engine stand, and the batteries go in here. And actually, the electric motor in the transmission allows it to turn over slowly to show off how an engine works. Well, this is the box. Look at this massive thing. This is the box the kit came in back in 1960 and 61. Uh, on the back of it is very cool. This is sort of a nice picture showing the exploded view of all the bits and stuff inside but once we open the box well what do we see <laughs> okay lots and lots of parts molded in various colors there's red parts for the oil pan the cylinder head and other bits and the detailing on these things is really nice here's the valve cover and this is very very well rendered with the ribs that you'd find the uh, the road draft tube would go here the oil fill cap right there and again, it's very accurate. And yes, these little holes around the perimeter take screws, very much like a real slant six takes a small, what, quarter inch little bolt to hold the valve cover on. Beyond that, the, uh, the cylinder head is uh, molded in several pieces, but here's the bed part. This is the base, and here's those iconic slant six spark plug holes right here. And in addition, there's a parts tree of gray plastic parts. Like here's the side of the engine block right here. And here's the back of the bell housing right there. And we can see the, the shapes found in a real slant six, the oil galley, the distributor mounting pad, all that stuff is right here. A very detailed model. And of course it does function and run. Here are the cylinder bores right here, half of them. And the pistons go up and down as the crank turns. And it's all very realistic. There's even a silver parts tree, all this silver stuff right here, including uh, this transmission. This is the tail shaft for the, man, the three-speed manual transmission right here. You glue these two puppies together, and uh, that's the beginning of the transmission tail shaft right there. So incredibly detailed. Now, the, the downside to the model was um, its price. Back in 1961-62, this is like a $5 model kit. And uh, despite the fact that Chrysler and Ravel did a lot of advertising, this right here is an advertising out of, I think, uh, Car Life magazine or, or yeah, Motor Life, Motor Trend. And here it is right here. You know, even the engineers flipped over this scale model. Now, here's the thing. The engineers they're talking about is a fellow named Willem Wertman, who back oh, about 15 years ago wrote this book right here, Chrysler Engines, 1922 through 1998. And in this book, in the Slant 6 chapter, he actually describes how they flew him, Chrysler, out to Venice, California, where he had a big role in bringing blueprints for the Slant 6 and showing the Ravel engineers how to render the plastic Slant 6 as realistically as possible. So really a fantastic thing that Willem Wertman, one of the engineers, was credited in the story and, uh, and, and the, the backstory on the aluminum Slant 6. Now another thing too that happened was magazines, car craft, and, and Rod and Custom, right here, this is Rod and Custom, from uh, September 1961, they ran a full story right here. There it is right there, Ravel's Slant 6, a full story on the development and the, and the history of it. And uh, again, you know, they did everything they could, uh, Chrysler and everybody else, to promote and sell the aluminum Slant 6 or the plastic Slant 6 kit. Uh, and in fact, years ago, uh, back in um, 2007, this is an email that uh, correspondence between me and Willem Wertman, uh, who is now retired, and this is 2021 right now. In fact, November 6, 2021. Willem Wertman, to my knowledge, is still alive and well, living in, in California. And uh, here he's describing his experiences with it. It says here, basically, over the next several months, he, he, would, see, he would get inquiries from uh, Ravel on uh, little bits and stuff. By February of 1961, he's writing here, Ravel had a prototype of the engine model kit ready to show distributors and dealers who would be attending the annual week-long hobby industry trade show in Chicago. So uh, for the Ravel booth at the show, Chrysler shipped one of its own cutaway motor-driven slant-six display engines, an actual iron and steel engine that was on display at the hobby show 
show with the Revell quarter scale plastic kit. So, you know, Willem Wertman described all this stuff. I might even scan this stuff and put it on the Steve Mignanti website so you can read it at home. But it's so cool in my experience as a writer to have had personal experiences with not just the, the models from the day, these iconic things, but also the people who made them happen. But again, that's the story of the Revell quarter scale slant six engine. Now there is talk that there was also a clear version of this thing done. Uh, the block was rendered in clear plastic so that you could see through it versus the colored plastic used in most of the kits. The word is that the clear one came along in 1963 and beyond that apparently there was a slight modification made to the kit toward the end of its production run. I think in 64 they added a PCV system, positive crankcase ventilation, whereas the original kits had a road draft tube. So the small things like that were changed to make the engine a little more, more accurate as you get into 1964. Now I did ask Willem Wertman, who was also one of the fathers of the Hyper Pack, which is the long ram single four barrel NASCAR baby race engine. I said, Willem, did you guys do a Hyper Pack or any hot rod parts? He says, no, we never got around to that, but it was considered. So it's an amazing thing to imagine. They, they were thinking about doing a quarter scale Hyper Pack intake manifold and Carter AFB carburetor. So really, really cool stuff. But that's the story of the Revell quarter scale plastic model of the Slant 6. Today you can find them. Again, I think I paid, uh, I always write this stuff down. Uh, I paid $209 for mine. Uh, and it was, I thought that was a good price. And the shipping was like, I don't know, 40 bucks. I said, hey, I want that box crisp, so ship it as well as you can, I'll pay extra. So for $209, I got myself this kit here, which is somewhat complete, but at the same time, I also have the built-up model right here, which, you know, scratches the itch to know what these things were like. And some things on this that I, I, I could do, but the valve cover is screwed down, the little screws there. I could undo those and expose the rocker arms and the valve springs and the push rods. Yeah, they're in here. So these are amazing kits. Now the big question is today in 2021, does the tooling exist for this model kit? Well, so far Revell has raided their back inventory of tooling and they brought out a lot of rare kits from back in the day that we never thought we'd see again. But so far, as far as I know, the tooling for the Slant 6 has been lost. So we can only hope that maybe in some dusty warehouse somewhere in Southern California or China or who knows where, the tooling for the Slant 6 quarter scale kit might be somewhere. Till then, the only hope of seeing one of these things rendered again is to digitize it and 3D print it, which right now, well, that's kind of pricey. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But in the meantime, if you like this video, be sure to check out part one of this video, which starts the ball rolling with a look at the built-up Slant 6 uh, plastic quarter scale engine. And again, if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe to the Steve Mags YouTube channel. We'll see you again for more real soon.